Okay, today we're doing um, June 2022 past paper. So we're starting with paper one, which is basically your civil analyticals, your civil drawings, and every first orthographic drawing that you've done in your workbook. So we're just going to go through the analytical today and see, um, so that I can show you how to obviously answer a lot of the questions and how they expect the questions to be answered. Okay. So here they ask, what is the reference code for the drawing? Question one. So you'll normally look at this little like title block thing given here. And the reference code will be 884939. So we'll just write 884939. Okay, so that's your first answer. What is the scale indicated for the site plan? That will be provided on your site plan, so it's a scale of 1 to 1,300. So you'll put a scale 1, 1,300, okay? With reference to the title panel, so that's what I've showed you over here. They say, what does CR and then the number dash 7 refer to? So you basically have to look for that number and here they tell you that it is the project number. So you will obviously say project number. Okay. What architectural firm was responsible for the design of the new hospital? So you're going to have a look here. Generally they have the name in this block here. So it's Muller Architects. So you'll just write that down as well. So your civil analytical is very easy because it's just basically free marks. So all you really need to do is just study those pages in your workbook. So the JPEGD workbook before your civil analytical and your civil drawings, you do get um, like information pages. Basically read through that and you're pretty much good to go. The rest, there will be like some adding and stuff which you need to know yourself. And also they sometimes work off of your like understanding of a site plan so some things you can't study for you just need to know um, what it's for so that's basically what we're gonna go through today as well okay what does the arrow on the sliding gate into Munchen street indicate so if you look here you find the street here there's a um, arrow going this way it just shows the direction of opening so you will just write direction of opening Okay, just like that. Um, when I was obviously doing EGD, we had to write in capital letters. I'm not sure if that is still a requirement for you guys. But if it is, can someone please let us know? Because um, I that was the way I was taught. I was told we'll lose marks if we don't do it. So obviously I would rather like let you guys know than not know. But if it's not, you can always just comment that down below for the people who aren't sure, especially me. I appreciate it. Okay. Number six says, what does the abbreviation RE stand at stand one, at one stand for? Okay, so they give you an arrow one, and then they give you RE. So that is called a rotting eye, and an IE is called an inspection eye. Okay, so here you're going to just write that it is a rotting eye. Okay. What is the height of the boundary fence in millimeters? I had a look at the drawing on the side plan to see if I could see one of the notes that had it. They did not. But if you have a look here at the symbol legend, here they say two meter high boundary fence. And because they want it in millimeters, you're going to change the two meters into 2000 millimeters. Okay. Name the feature at two. So if we have a look at two over here, you see it's got a long line, short line. That is called your building line. Here there's the abbreviation BL. So you will just write building line. Okay, just like that. Name the feature at three. So we have a look at three here. And you see there's a manhole, which we obviously associate with sewage. As you can see, it's connected to all the inspection eyes and rotting eyes. So this line here with the arrows uh, showing is the sewage line. So that is what you will write. Okay. 
uh, what must happen to the existing building at four so four points to an existing building you can see that the existable in the existing building has been dashed in that means that it needs to be demolished so you can just write must be demolished or removed so you can use either word so demolished okay what finish is required at five so here we have five and it's got pointing to this like very like dark shading here so basically what it is is it's brick paving so your answer will be brick paving okay name the feature at six so we have a look at six there's a little box with a w inside of it that is an electricity meter or a watt meter so you can write either electricity or watt meter okay All right what does the symbol at seven indicate so if we go to seven so my printer didn't print everything properly but you can see it's basically a disabled sign so you're going to say see where it points and it is parking for disabled people and that's what you're going to write okay What is the shortest distance from the proposed new hospital building to the boundary line AB in meters? So um, boundary line AB will be where the AB is. So in the memo it says 18.28 but if you look at the measurement here, it's the only measurement that's given to you. It says 15.28 to the building line. There are no other measurements and that is the smallest measurement. So I'm going to write 15.28. Um, I think it may have been a mistake um, on like the memo but if you guys see how it could be 18.28 please let us know okay what colors used to represent new wood on sectional elevations and floor plans that's the color you need to know you're not going to find it on your um, drawing and that color is yellow okay so yellow will always be your wood um, and if you want me to make a video on what the different colors are for, I can do that for you. So you just need to let me know. What is the height of corner E in meters? So generally, they will supply your corner heights in this little table here. You can see they've missed E. So basically, if you have a look, you've got these building um, contour lines. Okay, so these are called contour lines, not building lines. And you see E is at 18. So point E will be 18. Which elevation of the proposed new hospital entrance faces Dortmund Avenue? So you're going to have a look at your north point here. And here's the street here. So the entrance does face the east side. But because they want you to be very specific, the entrance faces um, southeast. So you will write southeast. Okay. In space... In the space below, answer 18, determine the perimeter of stand 118 meters. So here they give you answer 18. So basically what you have to do is you basically just have to add all of these boundary lengths. So AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FG plus GA. So you'll basically add all of those and your final answer will be 485.6. Meters. Okay, I'm not going to calculate it for you, but that is how you work it out. So now you know. Um, then here it says in the space below, answer 19, determine the total area of the proposed new hospital building in square meters. And here they give you the proposed new hospital. Now what I did to work it out was I took these lengths here. So I took um, 60,500 times by these um, lengths together which gives you 48 and then what I did is I worked out what this chunk here is and I minus that from my total amount the same over here and then I got my final answer so your final answer should be 2421.5 
meters squared. Don't forget to put meters squared and don't forget to put meters here when you're working out perimeter. Um, the calculations, yeah, I'm not going to show you, it's going to take a bit too long, but um, if you really, really need help, I'll comment it for you guys. Okay, in the space provided in the title panel, answer 20, draw in neat freehand the SANS 10143 graphic symbol for A, and then they say 20.1 in north point. So I'm going to draw it freehand. Okay. Um, yes, they want you to draw it in neat freehand. So your north point will look like this. Just obviously make sure yours is very, very neat. Okay, so that will be your north point, and then they want a two-way switch, which will be a circle with your switches like that. Okay, and that's basically your civil analytical done. So it's quite easy. There's a lot of like basically I would say free marks because this is very like easy to answer, but there are some questions where you're going to have to do some calculations and remember. Um, like certain colors of things and certain symbols and fixtures and so on. So I hope this helped you. And as soon as I have time, I will have a question two for this paper out, which will be solid geometry.